In this short video, I'll quickly explain what you need to know when choosing eyepieces to get the most from your telescope. We'll start by demystifying magnification. The magnification of an eyepiece is simply the telescope's focal length divided by the eyepiece's focal length, and these numbers are often found on the side of both telescopes and eyepieces for convenience. This inverse relationship means that a shorter eyepiece focal length results in higher magnification, making distant objects such as the planets or craters on the Moon appear closer. Stars are the exception to this rule. They are so distant that they only ever appear as points of light, no matter how much magnification is used. How do we determine the limit to which we can magnify without compromising the image quality? Well, as a rule of thumb, the maximum useful magnification is 50 times a telescope's aperture in inches, or twice its aperture in millimetres. But there is a twist. Our Earth's atmosphere with all its turbulence and the jet stream can often limit sharp images to around 200 times magnification at sea level. This is one of the key reasons why professional observatories are often located on top of mountains, where the atmosphere is thinner and less disruptive. Next, let's delve into the lesser known but equally important exit pupil. The exit pupil is the diameter of the beam of light leaving the eye lens and entering your eye. This can be calculated either by dividing the diameter of the objective lens by the magnification used, or by dividing the eyepiece focal length by the telescope's focal ratio. If the exit pupil is below 1mm, you might start to see eye floaters, fragments of protein floating inside the eye. This can be distracting as well as slightly unnerving. However, an exit pupil of between 1 and 2 mm provides excellent contrast, ideal for detecting faint deep sky objects against the background sky. Anything above 7 to 8 mm can waste light from your telescope, as the light cone can't fit inside the pupil of the human eye. To keep things concise, I'll mention just one more important consideration when choosing eyepieces for your telescope. Eye relief is how far you can place your eye away from the eyepiece while still being able to see the full field of view. A telescope will correct for both short and long sightedness. However, if you suffer from astigmatism, you may need to wear glasses to observe, in which case look for eyepieces with at least 18 millimeters of eye relief. So there we have it. We have discussed some important considerations when choosing eyepieces to get the most from your telescope. These include how to calculate magnification, the maximum usable magnification, an exit pupil for the best possible views of objects out there in space. A big thank you to my channel members and Patreons for your continued support. Clear skies, and until next time, happy stargazing.